So last night we get here for our appointment for induction and all the rooms are taken. And today we were told to be here today at 12 and now they're moving things right on along. Uh, Dunn did a bunch of blood work and a Foley tube, right? The bulb or something like that. Oh no, they shoved a balloon up there and started squirting <laughs> things into it and it blew up. So, it's supposed to move things along. But, <laughs> what you got to say? One centimeter at two o'clock. So, we'll see how it goes. And I'm already having contractions. And, yeah, that's it right now. All right, it's about three o'clock and she just got some pain meds and some for nausea, whatever. What you got to say? Feeling better since I got the pain medicine, but I'm having constant contractions, like back to back. You can show them the screen. Well, what'd you just say about the pain medicine? Oh, whenever I felt that contraction, I said that's not pain medicine to make it the pain go away. That's to make your mind go somewhere else because that shit seriously hurts. All these little lines through here is her contractions, and up there is the baby's heartbeat. Okay, so since last, did I say something about the pain medicine? Yeah. I've uh, taken a nap, or tried to, and I have pretty consistent contractions. I don't know how far apart they are, but probably every like minute and a half to two minutes. And um, I still have this bulb thing in that I'm waiting to um, dilate my cervix to four centimeters and yeah I'm pretty tired but it's just really good. Each one of these little blocks right here is uh, one, one minute and then another minute, another minute, another minute, and then it'll have that little time up there five minutes later. So about every two minutes or so, she's having a contraction. These little peaks are the uh, contractions. Yeah, now we're just waiting on the, either the bulb to come out or um, him to take it out and my water to break. Catch you after a while. I'm bored. Bet I'm hurting. What fuck you want me to? They have all the meds. I'm not saying I need medicine. I'm just saying I'm bored and I'm hurting. Um. <coughs> all right. So my final. What is it called? Like what, the, what I guess the weight and stuff? Measurements. My final measurement guess is going to be seven pounds, eight ounces, 19 inches long. What's yours gonna be? You gonna be an eight pounder for sure. Why you say that? I say 20 inches long. Why you say he's gonna be eight pounds? Because you've always wanted a chunky baby. Oh my god. Was that someone at the door? I don't know. Oh. Yep. Is it on? Okay, so I just got my second dose of pain medicine and it makes me a little groggy because um, I can't have an epidural because I have steel rods in my back. And so an epidural is not 
even something I can consider. So they're giving me something through my IV and it just so happens that it makes me sleepy and kind of like ditzy and dizzy and everything. So <laughs> <laughs> I just got my second dose and it's, what is it, five o'clock? It's five fifteen. Yeah. So um, that's uh, the update and they're going to come tug on this bulb thing that is supposed to be opening my cervix. So I don't know where I'm at with that right now, but that is the update. So. And I'll tell you what I hate. This All motherfucker. Right. <laughs> but hey. when the nurse ain't here, we can take them off. And the whole ditzy thing, some of that's her too. <laughs> it's not it's not just the medicine, I promise. And I got this freaking Mount Everest on my chin <laughs> that came up this morning. <laughs> but yeah. I wasn't expecting to feel drunk during labor. <laughs> Mount Everest. Stop. Did you just zoom in. <laughs> as far as it go. Okay, stop. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to watch my 600 pound life. Oh, and when she talks about them little bulb bulbs, it's like a little tube. And there's a little section in between, a bulb up here and a bulb back here. And a little section in between where the cervix is. Each one of these syringes here filled up, the whole thing filled up one bulb. So, they're, they're pretty good size in there apparently, judging by that. Yeah, and it's uncomfortable, as she said, like, them tugging on it is going to be uncomfortable. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I'm watching my 600-pound life right now, and just chilling. The camera right, so. proves that was a lie. Watching commercials, but, get back to that. Just chilling. Go show that thing, um, where he's going to be. What's that? Don't just walk over there. I have to zoom out so I can see the damn thing. Oh. What is that thing? That's where he's going to get weighed and all that kind of stuff. Um, his blanket should be over there. I guess this is a blanket here and something to suck up something out of his nose and he gets weighed here and I guess that's just a light. I don't know. It's like a heat thing, I think. We're gonna find out for long. I'm having a contraction. Ow. Oh, it hurts. It like goes down my legs, and that's really weird. Oh, and then they have me sitting like, I don't even know. For example, her leg runs like this, and then back up. Yeah, and I can only sit like this right now. I've been sitting like this since freaking 12.30, and it's 5.15, and I'm ready to change pos change positions, but whatever. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Okay, so I've had three doses of pain medicine, and the third dose is worn off now, and um I'm just out of bed just standing here so I'm off my back because it hurts really bad and I've got contractions like I don't even I feel like there's no break in between <laughs> so I'm just doing whatever I can to like ease the pain I guess <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know but you ready for him to come? Yes. Um, but I'm scared because they said that these are going to get worse. So I don't even know what to think at this point if they get worse. And they also said that with her not getting the epidural, after five centimeters there's really not a whole lot of pain, anything they can give her. So she's pretty much thing, on her own after that. The only thing they can do is not break my water to cause less pain <laughs> so which basically just acts as a cushion between the cervix, what, the cervix? His head and, i think his head and 
the cervix or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And they're projecting we are here at 8.30. Yeah. They are projecting, uh, what, like 1 o'clock, that little foley bulb or whatever comes out? Mm-hmm. If it don't come out before, then they're going to take it out around 1 or 1.30. And around that time, I should be around 4 or 5 centimeters, so... No, four centimeters it comes out on its own. Yeah. Well, so there's you won't be four centimeters if they have to take it out. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just a waiting game now. Sit here and watch TV and hope it hurries there's on along. Nothing on TV. You're not even on me. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing on TV like at all. So I think it's on the Food Channel right now. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. And thank God for Hulu and Netflix on your phone. Right. <laughs> I haven't even really watched anything because I'm just like in so much pain. So I just have been kind of just sitting here <laughs> in a daze and I feel so blah. But between the pain medicine making me tired and then just being in pain, <laughs> I don't know how to act really. So, yeah. Catch you later. Alright, so it's 2 a.m. and they just took out the, what's that called, Foley bulb mm -hmm. thing? Um, and checked me and I'm at 6 centimeters. And they started me on Pitocin and it's at a 2 right now. And so they're just kind of waiting to see if my water breaks on its own or waiting to, to break the water so that I'm in less pain. And right now I'm on a ball, <laughs> whatever it's called, birthing, birthing ball. ball. And yeah, I got a little bit of sleep, but not much. So it's just a waiting game, I guess. What do you want to say? Um. What do you think? I think I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired too. Real quick update. Uh, water broke. She's nine centimeters within. She went from six to nine in just a couple hours. And the baby is about to come. Yeah.
update is we had a baby boy born at 555 and little miss trooper right here <laughs> all natural oh the natural <laughs> the only pain medicine she had was when we first got here for some of the contractions until that little bulb deal got out and then after that it was all natural baby. until after the baby was born she had some while she was getting stitched up but uh the baby got shipped off to uh, Nito, the NICU, NICU, neonatal intensive care, whatever it is, and uh, he's getting checked out right now, right, and uh, we'll we're going to go see him come 7.30 when we're allowed down there, uh, and we'll do an update after that and see what's going on. Catch you later. <laughs> 